Welcome to Wallatopia. Today we're reviewing the Auto Leather Minimalist Wallet. It looks like an envelope. It kind of acts like an envelope, receives cards like an envelope, but there's so much more. Stay tuned. Thanks for joining us today. The wallet we're looking at today is Auto Leather Wallet. This is a unisex wallet made for men and women. We'll get into this uh, right now to see exactly what we think about this. It is made in Turkey. I think it's a great place. And it is a real leather company. If you look them up, they, uh, uh, they use furs and those kinds of things. I know that doesn't appeal to everybody, but let's uh, get into this and see what we've got here. All right, well, if we look at this, at this right here, it's got a nice presentation. If what you see here is uh, what I'm used to seeing, I think you agree. I mean, this is really quite interesting and I like this because, and it's what, what attracted me to it, is that this is kind of an envelope look to it. It's an envelope design. If we, uh, if we look at this, you'll notice that it's got a magnet to it here. So it's got this magnet closure a mechanism. You see the magnet there and the magnet piece up there. It's got fairly good strength to it. I mean, you have to, you have to pull pretty good. And even if it came undone and was just kind of hanging there and flipping around, because of the multi-closure we have here and the coverage, I don't think it's going to be a problem. So if we look at this, it's pretty thin. It's five inches by three and you know point six inches and by a half an inch. I mean, really, it, it's it's got to be less than that. I mean, let's take a look here and see. So it's you know point two. Yeah, it's a lot less than that. Empty. And it's made from cowhide leather. I don't know what grade this is uh, because cowhide is, is really all leather and there's many grades of it. But uh, as you can see, it's sewn very well. If we look at the inside here, let's see what they give us. It's a support cardboard there. Looks like we have uh, a slot in the very front here. So we've got a slot right here, another one right there. So one, two, three, four, five. So five slots to put things in. Well, um, let's see what we can do. All right, let's grab and do our usual card test here. All right, so we got something in the front here. As you can see, we've got to kind of really push this down in here. Kind of get it all the way to the front. And we've got our next one, which I think I can see. Yeah, it's the next one up from that. And we've got the next one up from that. And so on so forth. Whoa, whoa, that is way deep. Ooh, baby, I see. So these have some stoppers down here, the card length. This, These as well, this front one goes all the way to the bottom. These two have stoppers, but this one in the back, it doesn't. So if I turn this on its side, we push that all the way in. I mean, you can see what that is. And if you were to put it like that, I mean, you can see that that goes all the way to the bottom. Well, that tells me that this is a slot made for money, for coins or keys, something like that right in there. I mean, that's where you'll, you'll have access to all kinds of room back in here, which is great. If you want to put a few bills in there and so forth, let's, uh, let's act like we've got some, we've got some, uh, dollar, you know, bills we want to put in here, currency, whatever it might be. Let's put three cards in there. That'll give us some stack in there. And let's just kind of lay it and look at that. That closes nicely. No, I'm not having to press it and fold it over. It just goes, closes nicely. Has a nice click to it. And honestly, it's not that thick, you know, when it's got that many cards in it. And I wasn't really counting there. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. It didn't say how many cards it should carry. Um, let's see what we got here. So that is 0.5, so a half an inch. I think full is meets their half an inch they're talking about. So anyway, there you go. So we're able to get uh, quite a few cards in there. Let's see if we can stack a few more. Let's get to the point where this becomes maybe too big to close. Let's see what its true capacity is here. Yeah, I think we're reaching it now. Ugh. Oh, baby. All right. Oh, oh it's, it's going. Bink. There it went. Look at that from that angle. Look at it from this angle in the front. Not bad. I like that. It's just got a really cool 
envelope type of feeling to it. You can see how the cards fit on the back there. This is awesome. I really, really like this. All right, uh, so it's got magnetic access to this. It also has RFID blocking capabilities here. Comes in various colors. Uh, it's got red, I think it's got yellow. This is the uh, uh, brown version of it. Um, so I really like this just because it's different. It's just the design that I think is cool and is, is different and unique from the typical designs you get from minimalist wallets. Okay, let's get into the rating of this wallet for quality. I like the quality of this. I'm not sure what grain of, of uh, a grade of cowhide leather this is. It's all pretty much cowhide when we talk about those things, whether it's full, top, or so forth. But it's good. Uh, it's you know solid piece wrapped around. I really like that. We're gonna give it a four. The build is very good. By way of pricing, $19.99 on Amazon. That's pretty good. I mean, that's maybe pushing a little bit. If this was around $14.99 or $16.99, they'd get a five on this. But I give it a four of quality versus pricing and usability. The features on this, very normal. I'd, I'd say it's a, a three. It can hold things, and it does provide that generous pocket in the back. Uh, by way of usability, I'm going to give it a two. Um, you know, it's easy to get out, but sometimes it can be hard to pull some uh, credit cards out that are in the front because it's a little awkward there. Uh, but the perception overall I gave it was a four, and so its final score is a 3.4 out of five or a 34 out of 50. This was a great little product. Love this product, and overall, pleased with it. So if you want to uh, pick this up, take a look at it closer for yourself, buy one for a friend. Go over to Amazon, look at the link below here, take a look at it, and see what you think. Leave your notes, your ideas, and your perceptions down here in the notes as well. Look forward to communicating with you, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.